Friday at Pizza Flicks. The King of the Bees strikes again. Upon wrapping Beast from Haunted Cave, Roger Corman directed the snowbound World War II flick using the same South Dakota locations with much of the same cast and crew, including Michael Forrest and future Euro cult star Frank Wolf.
All right, you guys. See what they got on them. Come on, hit it. Check them for grenades. Water! Yeah, Lieutenant? Did you order this attack? Well, I guess I did, sir. And what was the provocation? Provocation? Well, I took a look-see down the hill, and I saw about half a dozen Krauts. Now, the sight of Krauts always seems like a... provocation to me, Lieutenant. Cover up those bodies with snow. And join me in that clump of pines. You got the word, girls. Cover them bodies. What's the scanner, Lieutenant? I don't want to have to remind you again, Sergeant, that this is strictly a recon patrol. We're to avoid all enemy contact. They saw us first, sir. Up there on the hill? If you were out scouting, you wouldn't have noticed. Bruce Kid Regiment. Yes, sir. All right, now hear this. Baker Queen 5 to Baker Queen. You did Queen. a good job back there, but that's not what we came Baker for. Baker Queen, Baker Queen. Four. As long as this weather stays socked in, the ski troops are the division's only eyes behind the German lines. Baker Queen 5 to Baker Queen. Over. Hello, Baker Queen 5. This is Baker Queen. Over. Stand by, Baker Queen. Baker Queen, this is CO Baker Queen 5. I'm on your map, 75D14 at coordinates K32 in six minutes. Over. Make your report, Baker Queen 5. Over. Engage in destroyed enemy patrol. Shoulder patches indicate 7th Waffen SS. Any orders? Over. Condition static. You are to proceed as ordered. Over and out. <laughs> Permission to add, sir? No, we'll go on for a couple of miles, then we'll make camp. All right, let's move out. Shack up here. Chow down, sir. Boy, the feet, the feet. It gets the feet. When I get home, I'm gonna buy me a hammock. Boy, I sure wish we could heat this stuff up. The only thing to do with sea rashes is throw them up. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, sir. Yes, Grandma Sparker? Do you think them craft is really getting ready to throw something big at us? I don't know. If they're going to, they better try it fast. The other side of that range is the Rhineland. 75% of all German war industry is centered there. Well, heck, if we take that, we've shown up win the war. <laughs> you say so, Grandma Sparker. Herman ought to know. He's been to military school. Now, what's the matter with that? And it ain't school, it's academy. Now, nah, I used to get you creds and basic. Big guns who'd been play-acting captains and majors in school. <laughs> Couple of days of my treatment shaped him up fast. Now, that's not right, Sergeant. All the teachers at our academy were Army officers. Now, I learned a lot more there than in eight weeks of basic training. Well, aren't you a smart young cracker? I wish I'd had you in my outfit. And what would you have done with them, Sergeant? I make them or break them, because the Army needs men. But it takes time. You can't make an Army man in eight weeks. Or 90 days. That's a shrewd observation, Sergeant. We better get some shut eye. We're going to Ridge 805 in the morning. Right, Lieutenant.
What did you go to military school for? I was made to. Yeah? Who made you? My family. <sighs> this may sound funny, but I don't really believe in war. I don't believe in Santa Claus, but my kid does. I don't think those Germans out there care whether you believe in war or not. How many kids you got? Just one. How old is he? Three and a half. When I left home, he had the chicken pox. He's okay now. <laughs> you want to see his picture? Well, he don't look nothing like you at all. Oh, yeah? No, he's good looking. Oh, come on. Jack Holly, you know how many times you showed me this picture? I never showed it to you before. No, only about four or five times. You never showed me a picture of your wife, but you showed me a picture of your boy. I never get lonely except at night. I wish my wife was here with me right now. I just like to be anywhere but here. I don't even mean home necessarily. Mississippi? Biloxi. You got a girl? Back home? Anywhere. I got a girl in Biloxi. Are you going to marry her? I don't know. We'll see how things are when I get back home. Is she, uh, one of those southern girls? Yeah. Big girl. Big how? Oh. Big. You, Jack Cole, are you still smoking that thing? How long you been smoking that? Two weeks. Boy, you must really like those things. I've been smoking them since I was a kid. Maybe that's what started your growth. You smoke, Lieutenant? Sometimes. Didn't stun your growth none, did it? You are a smart cracker. No, I didn't mean to offend you, Lieutenant. I was just trying to be friendly. Rammelsbacher. It's a German name, isn't it? Yes, sir. You don't seem to have inherited any of their respect for authority. No, I respect authority, sir. Just that I think that they're human beings and I'm human beings. Now, if we was in some base somewhere, we wouldn't be talking like this. Where are you from, Lieutenant? Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Land of the rain. Does it rain a lot there? I guess they get about 40 inches of rain a year. Have great skiing in the winter, though. They don't have anything on us here. Hey, what's with Potter, Lieutenant? Potter's all right. Good soldier. He's regular army. I guess he feels we're just a bunch of civilians in uniform. I don't think he likes me. I don't think it's anything personal. He just resents what you represent. I resent what you represent, too, Grandma Sparker. Oh, come on. Cut it out. All right, that's enough. And tomorrow we're going to split up into two groups. We can cover more area that way. Bruce will go with Potter. You two will stick with me. We'll join up with them just below 805 at approximately 0900. There's one other thing. This is a reconnaissance patrol. The less German reconnaissance knows about us, the easier our job's going to be. That means no contact with the enemy, unless absolutely necessary. That clear? OK. We got an early start in the morning, so you better hit the sack. Chicoli, you take the first watch. You ready? <sighs>
way down. Anybody see where it came from? Down that gully. All right, you go left. You circle around to the left. Try to get in behind him. I'll go around to the right. Grab us, Rocker. You cover us from behind that log. marked on the map. Hey, what the heck is that noise? What the... Everybody off the road! Baker Queen, this is Baker Queen 5. Over. Keep at it, Roos. They couldn't hear if you set up a cannon. And you're sitting ducks. So are we, Sergeant. 
Yeah, but I'd rather be killing crowds than sitting on my duck. Baker Queen 5 to Baker Queen. Baker Queen to Baker Queen 5. What do you want? Make it quick. Over. What's going on back there? Over. Don't you have ears, buddy? Over. This is CO Baker Queen 5. I have a Panzer Division on unmarked road. Your map, 75D14 at coordinates K34 in eight minutes. Over. Sorry, sir. The whole front is blown apart. I think regimental command was caught in the first assault. Over. Can give me any idea of the extent of the offensive. Over. It looks like several divisions are pushing a bulge in the Ardennes sector. The whole front's wide open. They say von Ronstadt directing it. Over, and I've got to get out. Okay. And if you find anyone of authority, tell them I'm proceeding independently. Over and out. Show has gotten bad all of a sudden. It's always like that. Before something happens, we can expect another convoy in a few minutes. Follow me. We're going to have a conference. Conference? Lieutenant, you said we was going to have a conference. That's what I said, Sergeant Potter. In the last ten minutes, the situation has changed in every respect. Not only for this patrol, but probably for the entire Western Front. Now, there are two things we can do. We can turn back and try to rejoin the outfit, or we can keep going, marking the roads and scouting the enemy advance. Now, the final decision is up to me, but I'd like to hear any ideas you might have. Lieutenant, sir. Yes, Colonel Sparker? In my opinion, this patrol finds itself in a position of rare opportunity. We are in the rear of a disorganized front. We probably constitute the only reconnaissance unit available to the Allied forces. I think we should keep right on going, sir, and report everything we see. What do you have to say, Sergeant Potter? Well, Lieutenant, I think we ought to go back where the fighting is. Where any man with guts would want to be, sir. I can sympathize with your opinion, Sergeant Potter. But Private Grammar Sparker's right. We do have a rare opportunity to report directly to headquarters what the Germans are up to. We're going to take that opportunity. We'll follow that road, marking it and scouting the enemy advance. We'll use the weather as a time limit. When it clears up and our planes are able to come over and scout, then we'll start back. All right, let's move out. Nice work, Napoleon. Oh, that's all right, son. Just a simple command problem. We can always get you a division, Grumble Spiker. All right, let's knock off the skylight and then move out.
They'll be here in about a minute. There's no place to hide. What are you going to do now, Lieutenant? Well, what did they teach you about this in OCS, Lieutenant? There's a German patrol heading straight for us. Bruce? Yes, sir. Get up on that ledge. When the patrol gets near, open fire. Get moving. Good luck, Bruce. Now, the rest of us will go around to the right. As soon as Roos draws her fire, we'll attack from the rear. If we time this right, they won't have a chance. What chance will Roos have? Let's move out. Somebody's for food. Something amusing happened, Sergeant? No, sir, that thing won. We're out of rations, Lieutenant. Looks to me like we're going to have to go back, no matter what the deal is. Not at all. Remember that log cabin about three miles northeast of here? Yeah, I remember it. I know some shacks behind it. Looked like chicken coops. We're going to go back there tonight and see what we can pick up. Fried chicken? Well, shut my mouth. At ease, Bill Bucker. Fall in and clean them pieces. Looks like we're going to stage a little attack on... Heidi and her grandfather. Now don't move, baby. Just don't move. It's okay, Sarge. You speak English, well, then? Girl spark and search for weapons. Check all of the window. You're Americans? Here in Germany? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. This can't be. She's right. The Fuhrer promised, you know. He gets mine a leave, Shem. The Haas and Pfeffer and the Wiener Schnitzel are to watch on the Rhine. What's that, Grandma Sparker? I said, how are you, sweetheart? The rabbit stew and the veal colored are to watch on the Rhine. You said what? Well, that's all the German that I know. You do speak English, Fräulein. Are there any German troops around here? Yeah. Many Soldaten. You had better leave. Stop! Easy, Sergeant. Man in the forest, there are hundreds of German troops. But you had better leave or you will all be destroyed. She's lying, Lieutenant. I know. Call her, Grandma Sparker. Take another look around outside, then get the chickens. Leave a couple for her. Hail to the conquering hero. Against 
Go ahead, have some. Do you good. Feel better? Dr. Shen. How about fixing us a pot of coffee? Coffee? I'll fix your coffee. If you like burnt barley seeds. Just so long as it's hot. What do you think our women would act like if a stinking crop patrol came waltzing in on them, Lieutenant? About the same, I imagine. We all think it's impossible to lose. Hitler has never lied to the German people. The new secret weapons are almost ready. And then you will see the trap into which you have walked. At this moment, Von Lundstedt is crushing your Eisenhower. Soon the victory will be ours. Then we will have peace. Well, it was nip and tuck for a while. We, we got him. Now what do we do with him? You killed all my chickens. Well, Chuck's proud of We left a couple for you. A boy and a girl. Don't call me Fräulein. I'm Frau Heinsdorf. Take everything from my house. Soon I shall have it all back. From your house, too. Now pick and clean them. I thought the spoils of war would taste so good. What'd I tell you? I never thought I'd be embarrassed to take it. What do you care? She's a stinking crowd, isn't she? That's no way to talk about her. Well, what the crud did I say? She is a stinking crowd, ain't she? She can't help it. She was born that way. You think all Germans are freaks, Sergeant? Well, Lieutenant, you gotta be a freak to start a stinking war with the whole world. You gotta be off your stick. American, why do you say we started the war? Who else, sweetheart? The Eskimos? The Poles started the war. Oh. Since the French and the English declared war on us. Why do you bomb our cities and kill our children and then say we started the war? Why? Fräulein, you're Abel Sugar. As ape as that stinking creep you got up there on the wall. All right, pack up your gear and move out.
boys. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Lieutenant. Likewise and more the same. We we'll hope. Christmas 1944. The land of the Christmas tree. It's a little bit unreal. Yes, sir, it is. I'm looking forward to the next Christmas. And the land of the beer and the hot dogs. Uh, Hank, this is the land of beer and hot dogs, Sarge. What do you mean? Sure. Beer is a national drink. The hot dogs to the Frankfurter. From Frankfurt. And hamburgers are from Hamburg, what? Huh? And sauerkraut is from Krautsburg. Oh, yeah? Well, how about Coca-Cola? From, from Coca-Colasburg. <laughs> well, what did you see, Grandma Sparker? Grandma Sparker. I'm going to call you Herman. Thank you, sir. I didn't see a cotton-picking thing. Hey, maybe we can spend New Year's Eve with the outfit, huh? Really, Sergeant? How do you figure that? Well, we've done our job and we've done our good. We've been over every inch of 75B14. We marked down every cruddy road and bridge and tunnel and railroad. We're done. And I drink to us. You're right, Sergeant Potter. You're absolutely right. We have finished with 75D14. Now take a look at 75D16. Six? Six? The Germans are still coming through. And it looks like they're coming through this sector. I want to find out where. Lieutenant, I don't see what... Sergeant, that... I guess I didn't make myself clear. We are going on, and we're going to avoid all enemy contact. Are there any questions, Sergeant? No, sir. Merry Christmas. Get the patrol units zusammen. Wir folgen den Spuren nach. Macht schnell. A jamming bridge, Sarge. Oh, it took a lot of sweat to build a bridge like that. Which way to Mississippi? Straight up, boy, straight up. Sure looks like a perfect target to me. Ah, it's a lousy target. Why, she's a setting duck for a dive bomber. Sergeant Potter's right. It's an almost impossible target from the air. But not impossible from the ground. So we're gonna blow it up. That's the way the Germans are moving up. We're going to do what the planes can't do. How, Lieutenant? Let's take cover and figure out how. They were here. Forward. If we take this nest, we can get enough mortar shells to blow up anything in sight. They'll be after us in a hurry, so we can't afford to leave tracks. We'll climb the face of the cliff and come down on them from the top, skipping the trail altogether. Yeah, but suppose the crouch in the nets happen to look up. Why, well, we're climbing down the ropes. If that happens, Sergeant, you may have the honor of dropping the first grenade. How are we going to convert mortar shells into charges for the bridge? Well, I can handle that. I had demolition training. Give the kid an A+. Plus. Okay, let's get the skis hidden. Die 
Russland wird er das Essen im Magen einfrieren. Ja, wenn du nur was zu essen bekommst. Als wir an der Moskauer Front waren, konnten wir nachts nicht einmal ein Feuer machen. Wir mussten Eis essen. Wir hatten überhaupt kein Wasser. Es ist schon besser gefroren. Ich habe das schon. Russland ist nichts außergewöhnlich. Ja, Joe! I think I dropped something, boys. You fathead. Never mind the talk. Let's get the stuff packed up and beat it before the relief shows up. What's this? Tell him I. Yeah, we can plant that under some road, Lieutenant. Sarge, we can use that to set off the charges. Set that on the railroad track, a train hits it. God, Bluey, that's all she wrote. Good. As sure as this arm. Pack it up and let's get out of here. Okay, take five. I hope you guys are good mountain climbers. Sure looks like Everest to me. I tell you, Sarge, I plumb forgot my oxygen tank. One thing's for sure. If we can't reach the top, we can always reach the bottom. There's a shelf to the right of the bridge. That's our main objective. When we get there, we'll arm the mine and the mortar shells. Check the stress points. Okay, let's go. Well, as General Robert E. Lee once said, off we go into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. We can lay for him easy. Nothing doing. The bridge is the most important thing. If we can keep our lead, we can blow it. We'll worry about them later. Come on. Come on. 
behind us. I don't think we'll have to worry about them Germans anymore, Lieutenant. Even if I do say so myself. You stupid bonehead, do you realize what you've done? Huh? You've cut off our retreat off this iceberg. How are we supposed to get back down the mountain? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't figure. You didn't figure. You better start figuring, mister. I've heard nothing but your big mouth talking about the regular army and how smart old sergeants are supposed to be. I hope you get smart by the time we're ready to go. All right. There's a sheltered area at the end of this ledge. We'll make that our base camp for the attack on the bridge. Let's go. I want two men on guard at that rock at all times. <coughs> Go and grab Bakker first. Schmeiß mir mal das Seil rüber. Caller, did you ever stop to think that there might be a bullet somewhere with your name printed on it? Are you crazy or something? I got a mental picture of some fat old German woman, some factory somewhere, stuffing bullets into a clip. One of them has my name on it, in that black, heavy German type. I can imagine that clip being sent up to the front. 
Sometimes I pretend that the box of ammo that the clip is in falls off a truck or gets swiped by some kids or maybe gets sent up to Russia by mistake. And other times, I can see that old bullet coming right from my head and I duck, it sticks right into a tree and I walk over, take the bullet, put it in my pocket, and then I know I'm okay for the rest of the war. That was it. Supposing they uh, make two bullets with your name on it. Now, there's a hundred million soldiers fighting these here crowds. And they couldn't make two bullets for every one of them. You know, but they could accidentally print your name twice. Koenig. Look, supposing the machine got stuck, see? And it began to print your name on every bullet. Miles and miles of bullets. Printed. Herman Rommelsbach. Huh? Now, come on, Yankee. <laughs> well, somebody just got a million dollar wound. Yeah, that wasn't no real hand. It was a real hand holding it. At least now we know we can go back over the gap. I right, keep this ledge covered. I'm going to get a closer look at the bridge. One man can hold this ledge indefinitely as long as he watches out for grenades. Now, the bridge is about 100 feet above us. Three of us will go on ahead tonight and arm the charges. As soon as it gets light, we'll plant them on the bridge. Herman, I want you to stay here and hold this position while the rest of us go on ahead. Let's move. best spot for planting the charges. Here, here, and here. I sure wish we could do it now, Lieutenant. So do I, but it's too dark. When the first light appears, we'll plant the mortar shells. That's the easy part. The tough job is planting the mine on the tracks and getting back here before a train comes along. Okay, Lieutenant. But who plants the mine? Well, I won't order anybody to do that. Odd man gets lucky. I guess I lucked out. Hello. Die meine Granate. Geh. Slings a lot of bull, you know. The train hits the mine, it hits the batteries too. I don't see how it can miss. Yeah, but what happens if the mine don't work? You sound like you hope it won't. Now, Lieutenant, but I'd much rather be killing crowds than messing around with this cruddy homemade bomb. Don't worry, Sergeant. You're gonna have plenty of fighting before we're done. And if nothing happens and they spot us from the train, you won't have to go looking for a fight. All right, Lieutenant. I'm not worried. You'll find a place for us to hide. 
Pick up your stuff and move out. Take the one in the center. Bada, you take the one on the left. Chicola, the one on the right. Got it? Okay, Lieutenant. Let's go. center support. Yes, sir.
Major Cole. It's set to play some mine. But well, wait for my signal to be sure you're in the clear. Yes, sir. From that tree over there, huh? That's the one. Now, you need anything else? Yes, sir. Have well, you got a parachute? <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. Take it easy, Jacola. Fertig, da sind hier nur drei so über. Achtung, Feuer! Bummelsbacken! Support Herman, I'm going up that tree! Show their faces. Good. I 
Let's make a face for the ledge. Come on. You can't see from here out nicht sehen. What happened to Jack Holland? He didn't make it. Let's go. Crowd's finally got me. Can you make it? I think so. Hey, grab hold of this ski pole. Thank you. 
Well, Sergeant, did you get enough fighting? I guess so, Lieutenant. Okay. Let's get out of here.